as a professor in the School of Geography and Planning at Sun Yat-sen University, city twinning is one of the research topics that I'm fascinated by. My name's Mark Jane, and today I'll be exploring the intertwined relationship between Zhang Shan and Honolulu. Since the 19th century, so many Cantonese people left to travel the world to make their fortune. I'm going to introduce you to someone who bucked that trend and moved back to Zhongshan. Follow me. Hello. Hello. How are you, Mr. Mark. Mark. It's a pleasure Welcome to meet you. you. Okay. Are we going to school? <laughs> So when you were in Honolulu, you saved all the donated money for your school in your yeah, hometown. Ten, ten classrooms. They donate 5,000 to each classroom. All the donate is the Qing. The Qing family. The, the okay. Qing family in Hawaii. So are they all the people in Honolulu know about their names being in the school? Yeah. Oh, wow, they must be very happy. They're very happy. So for them, their education was important for the next generation. Yeah, very important because the, the first time they moved to Hawaii, or the farmer. Since 1989, Mr. Chen has been traveling frequently between Hawaii and Zhangshan to raise funds and supervise the construction of Anding School, which has now been expanded while preserving the old buildings. In 2019, Chen returned to Anding Village to spend his twilight years. I've been so impressed by the passion and drive shown by people like Mr. Cheng. And he's not the only one. In fact, in nearby villages, people are not only preserving these old buildings, but giving them a new lease of life. Chaobian村是一个桥村,有几百年的历史了。村里面现在有将近六百个村民,在海外的华桥却有三千多人。桥房在我们村里面有两百多座，保存比较完整的，应该有五六十座。像这个古老的桥房呢，以前就是一个非常脏乱的地方，仅仅是两年的时间，这里就变得很漂亮了。其实村里的各个角落都有这样的变化。So what are you going to do with these houses? Are there still people living in them? 我们村呢有这么多的桥房，目前是闲置的。比如说我们村里的这个左前右茶。最近的几十年他一直是慌着的状态没有人居住我们一八年的开始修缮这个房子作为朋友喝茶聊天的一个聚会的场所 Yes, I agree. This is such a relaxing place to sit down and drink some tea. Thank you. The special bond between Zhongshan and Honolulu goes back a long way because of Dr. Sun Yat-sen. And they are now forever linked because of the work done by the overseas Chinese communities in both cities. Their work has meant the legacy and stories of these places has stayed intact and not forgotten. <laughs> 